And welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today, the 4th of January 2023. Uh, for those of you who didn't see yesterday's update, Happy New Year to you. I hope 2023 will be happy, healthy and prosperous for you all. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets here to take you around what's happening in markets now. If look at what's coming across the news wires. US markets had a mildly weak session to start the year. Energy stocks and big techs struggled. Apple continued to sell off and is now below the two trillion valuation, which it's been over for quite some time. US futures in the neutral in early Asian trading, pushing slightly higher. But Asian indices are mixed. We've seen the ASX do very well. It's outperforming. The Nikkei is underperforming and is down significantly. Uh, the ASX has bounced to reverse yesterday's losses, essentially moved back over the key 7,000 level, which is a key technical level on the index as a whole. European equity futures are pointing to a very, very mildly higher open, and the VIX is trading near neutral today, suggesting a fairly calm market, considering some of the data we've got to come out over the next few days. The US dollar index had a strong day yesterday, bouncing off seven-month lows. It is mixed in Asia, depending on the currency pair you look at. It's positive against the yen, but negative against some of the commodity-based currencies. Very choppy start to the FX year at this stage. Despite that USD strength, we saw gold hit seven-month highs. Uh, copper was lower yesterday, but still in the range. We are seeing some strength in Asia today. And oil dropped 4% 4 4 from its monthly highs overnight. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies aren't going very far, very fast. They're still trading within a relatively small range and towards the low of that range and could retest a move below that going forward. Uh, we've got global services PMI data due over the next couple of days, which is going to be interesting. We had a fairly positive manufacturing PMI set of data, which although showed slowdown, didn't show a dramatic fall off from economic activity. Today we have the FOMC minutes, that's the uh, Fed Reserves minutes from their interest rate meeting that they had recently. Uh, that does have market moving potential. Every syllable will be picked apart in that report and may influence market sentiment for the rest of the week. On top of that, we've got US jobs data out on Thursday and Friday, which again will be looked at closely. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we're quite liking the look of Sunfire Resources, which is traded between a range of around about 520 and 560 for the last two or three weeks. You can see it pushing towards the top of that range again. If we breach this, we could see a move up to $6, which is in excess of 6% to the upside. Uh, this company looks very strong uh, and could fairly easily do that, particularly if copper picks up some steam. On the currency markets, the AUD looks really quite strong today. And we're just having a look at the daily chart on the AUD Japanese yen. You can see yesterday on that yen strength, we retested this low at 87.77, which was the low we had a couple of weeks ago. But we move up strongly today. Look as though we could completely reverse yesterday's losses uh, on the AUD versus the yen. So we're actually looking around about this 88.75 level. If we look at an hourly chart, you can see how important this level could be. And we've put on a line around about 89.35, which we think could be the initial level of pause, uh, which was the high from yesterday. Plenty of upside if we do breach that level. Uh, but in the first instance, possibly a 60 pip move is on the cards technically. So one to keep an eye on throughout the day, particularly when the European session opens. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.